One of my favorite movies of all time is Gladiator. And it makes me so happy to see that Joaquin Phoenix is still getting involved with the Oscars. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> what a lazy bastard. <laughs> Mystery, desire, suspense, victory, the Oscars. If you are what you say you are, yeah. a superstar, then have no fear. The camera's here and the microphones and they wanna know. Oh, oh, oh. Hey everybody, Fahim. I'm Ahmed here with MTVU and Rice University. Well, the big day has arrived. Tonight are the 81st okay. Annual Academy Awards on ABC. In just a few short hours, this red carpet will be swarming with celebrities. Mickey Rourke, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. They're all on the quest for the same man, that Oscar. Standing right behind me is Ryan Seacrest, uh, the man that uh, has been exploding all over television ever since hosting season one of American Idol. Do you guys remember that dude, Brian Dunkelman? Wonder where he is now. Can you explain what you have right here? Well, here we have some of the appetizers, like uh, smoked salmon and caviar Oscars, and then we have chocolate Oscars for everybody. And then here is the dessert, the sweet here, the bento box with uh, a raspberry sobe, lychee sobe, mango sobe, and also some. Uh, oh, I'm starving. Can I have some? Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, you come up afterwards. We'll feed you. So, what's so important about these two little briefcases right here? Well, these contain uh, the envelopes for the winners tonight. Uh, we each have a complete set, 24 envelopes, one for each category. They're sealed nicely and uh, remain under our protection all night long. All right, no need for uh, little handcuffs to your wrists, no, nothing like no, that? we're holding them pretty close. Virginia, I just want to say you look absolutely beautiful tonight. You not so much. Which actor or actress or, or you know, tech member would you be the most afraid to face in the ring? Oh, no, Mickey Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big guy. We saw him at the nominee luncheon. Yeah. He's he's huge. Yeah. I wouldn't mess with him. And he's pretty I'd tough, a, too. Yeah. I think he's not going to back down and fight that guy. I'd be afraid to face him just about anywhere, <laughs> let alone the ring, yeah. This is the second time someone's been nominated for portrayal of Nixon. You're the first. Is there something, is, is Nixon just a lucky charm? It's funny, Frank is nominated, and I've been nominated. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Just a little bit. Can you he gives a wonderful performance. Interesting guy to play. You know, back in 95, Anthony Hopkins was also nominated for his portrayal of Nixon. Yeah, so we talked about it last night. Uh, were there any challenges in, you know, making your performance uh, unique while still staying true to the character of Nixon? No, the, the biggest challenge was, uh, as it is in any part you play, finding the truth of that person you're playing and making sure you give it as much honesty as you can. Now, what was working with, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman, the host of tonight's yeah, festivities? Yeah, he was great. Yeah, well, he actually uh, joked with the press recently that he'd host tonight completely nude. How did you guys react to that? Well, he opens the show nude, and then he stays nude only for two acts. <laughs> and then on the third act, he puts on his jocks, and he slowly dresses throughout the whole night. Okay. Yeah, thanks. but I think it works. Didn't Jim Carrey do that one time at MTV Awards? He Wars? may have, I think, he yeah, He just had, like, did. a maple leaf <laughs> yes. or something. I think, I think we'd approve of that. Yeah, I would <laughs> like that. I'm sorry. I'm he's a big wrong. guy. We <laughs> saw him at the nominee luncheon. Yeah. He's, he's huge. I I, I think I'm much rather would have Halle Berry hosting it in a new than <laughs> Halle Berry, I agree. I think that's really fun. My son is here with me, and who do you think we're totally in love with for MC? Oh, He's my God. Wolverine after yeah, all. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I feel like Poe was Jack Black. Jack Black was Poe. I mean, did you always have him like in mind to play the main, the lead? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, really, it was, he inspired, he inspired the movie in so many ways. But he really created that character. I mean, it, it was, he was born to play that character. He was the only choice. There wasn't a plan B. If Jack had said no, we, I don't know there'd been a movie really. Now, uh, why the panda? I guess no, no, no aardvark, no, no leprechaun. No, no. Well, why the panda? Why'd you settle on that animal? Well, the panda's, uh, you know, uh, a native animal in China, and we wanted to make a martial arts film uh, set in, in China. So it was just 
it seemed like a perfect idea to, to take the unlikeliest animal that could maybe do kung fu and, and, and make a movie about them learning to do kung fu. So. And people love pandas. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Pandas yeah. and really penguins, I think yeah. those are the two. Those black yeah. and white designed animals, you know. The next one's a killer whale. Do you have any predictions on who's going to walk home with the best picture today? I do have my secret I think I have to, my favorite, I didn't see it, but everybody said, including my son, he said, Slumdog Millionaire gonna win for sure. I think it's probably gonna be Slumdog Millionaire. 